Uh, Soak yeah. is saying, is there too many troubles on South X? Uh, we get out of it. Uh, it's there's no, 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 not no. troubles from our side. Um, no, South X have been good and professional about shutting down. They've honored everybody's withdrawal requests that have been put in ahead of time. They gave fair notice. Uh, I don't care if somebody shows up in two or three months and cries about it. They can go fuck themselves if they think they can leave their own money alone for that long without looking at it. There are some people on their servers crying about, oh, minimum deposit fees and minimum withdrawal fees. Uh, you can't expect them to throw money away on, on Ethereum withdrawals just because you've got a couple of crappy tokens on there worth 50 cents and they need to pay five bucks for a withdrawal for you. That is what it is. That's just uh, an Ethereum network issue. I mean, the same would apply yeah, if you had it stuck on your MetaMask yeah. and you wanted to move them somewhere else. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. Exactly. Um, they've been good to us. We had a very good run with them. They were great to collaborate with. And we we really got some volume going when we listed with them compared to... When it started, it, it was decent, wasn't it? We had a right, some right decent yeah, volume. We, we I had... mean, it was the main exchange before Ogre and before Coinex was all around. You know, that, that was um, quite a decent volume yeah. on there. Yeah, yeah. We had a couple of fun weeks where we were over a hundred grand a day on there. That was <laughs> yeah. that that was awesome. Were we were we literally propping South X up with that? Yeah. Yeah. So uh rest in peace, South Exchange. You were always good. Yeah. And it's actually a bit sad that they're closing because they've been around in one form or another since twenty twelve. They opened initially using Amir Taki's Intertango free exchange code that he open sourced. And then they switched to building their own around 2015, I believe it was. They've been there for a while. They've been good, which was also one of the main reasons why we chose them, plus their Lightning integration, which was for a smaller exchange, very far ahead of its time. Uh, we'll see. Yeah.